Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Sasha, and for this video, we're gonna be talking about Ipsy May spoilers. So I know you guys are probably wondering, what are, what's going on with the Ipsy May spoilers? Like, like I was waiting too, but it wasn't like that long of a wait. I was able to know, like, find out what was the spoilers. But I was just waiting for the back design. I didn't want to do this video without speaking about the back design because I feel like it wouldn't be the same. So I was also wondering, like, is there even going to be a back design? Like, even now, on the Ipsy blog, the spoilers are not on there or even the back designs. The only thing they have announced is the Ipsy Glamic X. I want to talk more about the Glamic X spoilers and the creator in the next video. But for today's video, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Ipsy May spoilers for the glam bag and the glam bag plus so we already know may is going to be mother's day that's a month of mother's and you know last year they did a different floral design they did it more simple like pink with a pink outline that's what they did last year but for this year they went a little bit more vintage more purplish more magenta like peonies yeah it looks like peonies <laughs> and yeah i'm not sure what other flowers but it looks like peonies peonies to me <laughs> And it's like magenta, a very dark plum color, and some pinks. This one's more like, it gives me vintage vibes. I like the vintage vibes colors. I, I even love the colors too. It's very, almost very more, a little bit more mature, the design. And I wish it showed more of the back design, but it looks like a pretty much like an ovalish bag. Like a regular bag, you know? But it's more like an ovalish, roundish side. So now we're going to talk about the first water. So it's by The Wake. And it's a Tarte brand. So it's a sister brand to Tarte. And it's a lip therapy lip mask in the flavor peach. So I've ha I had this before, but I think it was a different flavor. So I think this is a brand new flavor. I had it. It was like almost in the beginning of me like joining Ipsy. So I already decluttered that because it was so old. I mean, I think it was still good, but I just didn't want to use it because I hadn't used it for a while. But it's like basically, hmm. So I would say it's a little bit like, like that, maybe like a quarter size. Yeah, it's about like a quarter size, but that lip mask, you seriously need like a little bit. Just put it on the night, the night time, and even by the morning, you still have some of that thickness on. It's like, um, it's thick and it's a little bit sticky too. So that's why it's a lip mask. It's very good to put it during the nights in case your lips need a little bit TLC. But yeah, that's a good mask. The second spoiler is by Tris Lucet Beauty. It's a ready to bounce cream blush in vacation. So I'm really interested in this brand. I have two of their palettes already. Like the first one, the big one. I just recently got that like maybe two weeks ago. And then, <laughs> and then the other one, I got a small one. It's very cute, but I haven't done eye looks with it. But I'm really interested in the brand. And I am such a sucker for cream blushes. This shade, I know it probably looks intimidating. I'm not sure how the formula is, but depending on the formula, with certain brands, it can either be pigmented, so probably a little bit goes a long way, or it's very buildable. I'm not sure. I'm thinking it's going to be buildable. Hmm. But it's a pretty color. I'm getting into more like vivid blushes, like pinks and especially purple blushes. So today I used the purple Michelle blush and also a mixture of a, another shade next to the Michelle. I think the one below it. <laughs> but I mixed it too and it made it such a pretty shade. So I'm getting into like very vivid blushes now. Like I love blushes so much. For the next one is by Briagel Hair Care Superfood Avocado Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask. So this is a repeat item that we've seen for sure. Like so many times. But Briagel is a good brand. Like I enjoy their hair mask. This one's good too. I prefer the other one, the regular one. But this one's good too. So it's nice to have minis. Like in case you don't want to buy a full size for a hair mask. So my hair has been like really good condition because my blondes are almost completely gone guys. And then I stopped using, I'm not using Olaplex anymore. Not really. I'm only trying to use it only once a month because I felt like over the time I used it so long. And I guess I did lose hair and then my hair felt so dry. I'm not sure. So you're only supposed to use Olaplex for like every so often because it has so much protein in that. Okay, now the next water, I think, I'm not sure. It's really hard to keep up with the first shade beauty. I feel like this is another repeat item. I feel like I have it too. I can't find it. I tried looking for it. Seriously, guys, I don't know where it's at. I feel like I had it. But it's the Eye Duty Niacinamide Brightening Cream. So if it's the one, I, I think I have it. I don't know, guys. But if I remember, this one was like a thin formula. Like it was very thin. That's what I remember. I I could have sworn I had it. Yeah. So I, I couldn't find it because my kids, they were playing with my mini products. 
they were just lining it up my daughter she loves doing that but i can't find it for some reason and so i'm not sure if it's a new product or not but it's first Shape beauty they're a clean brand and actually hmm yeah i think this might be a repeat product because i read somewhere that some people like they're the one that they received that smells bad but for me it didn't smell bad so i think this is another repeat item so i'm not sure why they're showing it up like i'm not sure why they're featuring it again but now the next spoiler is by arnco cool win ph perfect hair dry cream like i mentioned earlier currently they don't have the spoilers available on the blog but yeah so i have to look up everything individually if i want to talk to you guys a little bit about the product more but this is supposed to help tame frizz achieve styles without the efforts of styling with hot tools. So I'm going to see some before and after pictures. It looks like, yeah, it really tames the frizz on this model picture at least. And yeah, with R Co products, their products are really good. Like I enjoy their products a lot and they smell great too. Like I love the way they smell. I have a few of their products, but I don't have that one. I believe I don't have that one. It's hard to keep up with the different kinds of R Co items too. They have so many kinds. Now for the next spoiler, I actually own this. And it's the Kinship Self Reflect Probiotic Moisturizer Sunscreen Zinc Oxide Bra Spectrum XPF 32. So I can talk to you guys about this, give you guys my little review. I have two little meetings. This one's like practically empty. <laughs> but let me just show you guys this one. So this is the size of it. And I do like it. So it has like a smell. To it it has like a sweet smell it reminds me of oatmeal almost and so this is how it looks like so let me just blend it out i know i got a little bit too much for my hand <laughs> uh, but you really have to make sure you blend it because if you don't blend it blend it out it's gonna leave a cast but yeah it gives a nice do and it's very very lightweight yeah it's like it's like a sweet smell guys it reminds me of oatmeal like cinnamon almost very delicate smell and it doesn't pure and it doesn't peel anything under makeup it's good under makeup and that's all the spoilers for the glam bag so i know not so many not so much half of it's kind of like pretty much repeats or maybe like four or five i don't know <laughs> well the the lip mask is like a different flavor i believe i don't think we had that flavor before all right so now we're gonna talk about the glam bag plus and i forgot to show you guys the bag design for it uh so i'll, I'll well i forgot to talk about it but it's pretty much the same design it's a, a drawstring bag it's very cute so this would be perfect to give to your mother like if you want to do like a mother's day gift you could put like flowers in there and then a bunch of like goodies like jewelry or whatever goodies you want to give to your mom all right so we're going to talk about the first spoiler and i'm not sure so this is based on the advertisement it's by trend lucid beauty and I'm not sure if it's a blush bronzer duo or if it's a highlighter duo. I can, I tried zooming it in. I think it said the word glow there. So it might be a highlighter duo, but on my FC Boxy spoiler page, I put a blush bronzer duo because that's what it looked like to me. But I think it's a highlighter duo because it looks very reflecting. It has like that texture looking how highlighters usually look. So I think it's a highlighter duo. So that would be really cool because a pink highlighter, I love pink highlighters. And then... A bronzy champagne highlighter now the next spoiler i actually own this but i haven't like used it a lot because i had it stored away because i have so many moisturizers but i only use it twice and it's by saturday skin it's a pretty pop probiotic power whipped cream so let me show you guys so i was able to find it so i was looking for all the stuff that i could talk to you guys about so this is how it looks like the packaging is beautiful it's glass packaging isn't it pretty yeah and then I always like leaving the lid on because I feel like it keeps the product more preserved, like longer. And then when I did an unboxing, because I got this from my boxy charm, I like I noticed the texture of it. It looks very bumpy. I think that's how it is. But when you touch it, it's very whippy. But it has just like, these little dots almost. So it's it's pretty funny to me how the texture is like. Yeah. So this is how it looks like. So I got a lot. And. It's super lightweight. So there, since it has that texture, the, the little ball, I feel like you have to blend that away. I'm not sure what's the purpose with that texture, but yeah, I'm doing it. I'm blending it in because I, I got a lot. It's very, very lightweight. Yeah, very, very lightweight. Like it's not sticky at all. It moisturizes like my hand nice, but it's not like too moisturized. Like it's not too thick. 
so it, i feel like it wouldn't leave you like so greasy like it's very lightweight so i think there's a smell to it too it's like a light clean smell almost reminds me of lemon citrus almost but very 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 light so yeah i think this is a good one and people always rave about saturday skin too that they're a good skin care brands i still need to try out another product that i have i haven't tested it out i was looking for it but while i was looking for this i ran into the other item it was like a mask thing the orange one <laughs> so i need to test that out i was gonna use that the other day but i couldn't find it from my bathroom now the next spoiler i own this too because of boxy charm so this is the kate somerville gold milk moisturizing cleanser and i love this stuff so much i'm like halfway right here you guys could tell i'm halfway Right here's the ingredients if you guys want to know but yeah this is how it looks like it's a nice purple color i love this purple shade and this stuff i haven't used in a while because i've been trying to my other cleansers i've been very addicted to the the so is it the so clean the so clean the so clean balancing cleanser i've been addicted to that stuff i'm already almost done i'm like about halfway it's like this too so almost done with the other one so i've been addicted to that one but this one's a really nice one like when you're washing your face it feels very moisturizing it says made with soothing goat milk and nourishing manuka honey to gently cleanse and remove impurities this cleanser leaves skin soft smooth and subtle i still find myself that i have to use toner to balance out my skin and moisturizer because if i use this and then if i just don't use any products my face just feels like it just needs a little bit moisture like it's not that bad it's not drying but it's very moisturizing as you're washing your face like i love this stuff and it smells good too I oh, haven't smelled this stuff in a while. So this is how it looks like. See? Look at it. And a little bit goes a long way. This is kind of a little bit thick cleanser. So it's very moisturizing. Oh, and I'm mixing it in with the, the moisturizer. <laughs> so this also has a clean smell. But it doesn't smell citrusy. But it smells like a clean smell. Like it's, it's like a gentle clean smell. Like I love this cleanser. Like it's a good one, guys. The next spoiler is by Dr. Pratt Skincare Antioxidant Spray Toner. So I have not tried this spray toner before. Dr. Pratt's a very expensive brand too. And I've seen this product featured in a box charm. So the overlap, you guys. But I have never tried this one. It's, I tried looking it up too. And I don't see it being sold anywhere else. So I feel like it's a discontinued product already. But if you guys already tried out this product, how is it? Like, do you guys like it? Let me know or let us know so we can all like know more about it. And now for the next spoiler, it's by Mally Beauty Evercolor Shadow Stick in Rosy Top. So we've seen this in Boxer and Charm too, like back in the summer. So basically what shadow sticks are, like they're just an easy, quick way to do like an eye look. So you just pretty much just color on your eyelid, you can blend it out and just a, it just makes it super fast and convenient to do an eye look. Use it what I use for shadow sticks. I use it as my gel liner, like with the Bout Face shadow sticks, I use it as my my waterline gel liner that's what i use it for so i've been really use it for like an eye look kind of thing but you could that's an alternative thing if you don't like using like shadow sticks on your eyelids you could just use them as an eyeliner or even on the waterline just like i said before all right so the next spoiler is a palette it's a by tani's matte face and eye palette so this is a brand new item let me see how much they're <laughs> how much it retails for it retails for 60 dollars so man that brand for some reason it's a little expensive they have like my favorite lip oils i love their lip oils they're like glittery and they're nourishing i just love their lip oils they're nice but this face palette 60 dollars it's a little for price in my opinion the shadows they look kind of like a little neutral a little bit um hint of color burgundy color and then like a terracotta brown color and then some shimmers a, a bronzy shimmer or bronzy metallic and then a champagne shimmer it looks like and then it has a blush and a highlighter the highlighter and blush look pretty so this face palette looks like it'll just be like an easy to take on the go so yeah i'm not really excited by the spoiler like it's cool the packaging but I could pass on it. <laughs> now the next spoiler. I own this item too because of box charm. Oh my gosh, guys! At this point, I'm gonna. <laughs> uh, but right here it is. So this is by Rodeo Beauty. It's an illuminating glow primer, soft focus glow primer or <laughs> glow drops. And this is so old, you guys. Mmm. I received this. <sighs> I don't remember. I think it was the beginning of last year. 
Yeah, I think it was the beginning like on January, I believe, that last year. So I haven't used this in a while, so look at how low I am. So I didn't use it that much. But I was almost gonna declutter this, but good thing I didn't because then I could show you guys sample it. So I already wiped out my hand on this side. So let's sample it here. And there is a scent to this, it's very, it reminds me of Punch, I believe. Let me see. The dropper in this, it sucks. So I think you have to keep squeezing it like that. Yeah, that's what you have to do. You have to keep squeezing it to get the product. It's very thick. So this is how it looks like. I haven't used this in a while, so maybe I'll use it next time. Yeah, it's a nice product. It feels good. It gives you a very illuminating glow, but there's a strong scent to it. Like to me, it smells like punch lemonade. Almost smells something like nostalgic. Like this smells very familiar like a candy or something. That's what it smells like to me, but it gives like a nice dude. It's not, like it's a little sticky. It has a nice, like a nice tackiness to it. So I've been using it in a while. Hmm. Let's see what it does. Eliminate glow and be radiant with focused glow drop. Formulated with actives to brighten the complexion while providing the perfect skin, perfecting primer base for makeup. Can also be used alone for naturally dewy skin. So this is supposed to give you a soft focus glow, perfect base for makeup, dewy skin effect, antioxidant benefit for healthy looking skin. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and I think this product is okay. I wouldn't like recommend it. Like it's nice if you get it. You could try it out. You could probably end up loving it. But it's not something like um that I reach out for, you know, since it's been a while I haven't used it. But yeah guys, so those are all the spoilers for the Glam Bang and Glamic Plus. <sighs> Overall you guys, hmm. I'm not really hyped for these spoilers. There are a lot of repeats. Like they're good product, but they're just repeat products. So if you want to save some money, I would say skip. That's only if you guys want to. For the Glam Bag Plus, I think the Glam Bag Plus looks more better than the Glam Bag. For the Kate Somerville Gold Milk Moisturizer, the Saturday Skin Pretty Pop Moisturizer. And I guess the Mally Shadow Stick, I'm really interested in that. The Rodeo Soft Glow Drop, I will just pass on it. It's not a bad product unless you want something like it. Just know that the scent of it, it's pretty strong. Like it's very fruity-like punch lemonade. <laughs> the other sport that I really enjoy is the Trilucia Beauty product. I think it's a highlighter duo. So yeah, I think that's the best from the makeup that I love. <laughs> and for the Glamac, what I'm more interested in is of course the Trilucia Beauty, the cream blush. And another product I wouldn't mind getting again, just to have more SPF, is the Kinship. It's like not a bad product, so I wouldn't mind to have that. Let me know down below what you guys think about these spoilers. Are you guys gonna be skipping or are you just gonna be like keeping one of your bags? Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys all so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.